Hello. How are you guys doing today? I know it's early in the morning. But I saw something on YouTube that I thought somebody needs to talk about it. So, about maybe a few hours ago, I watched a situation everybody knows who Jaguar Wright is. She's an R&B singer and very popular all over West Philadelphia and um, the East Coast, basically. So, there was a video leaked out that she had an altercation with her husband. And it's all over? All over YouTube, and it's just kind of sad. She's literally in like a store or whatever and you just hear her cussing out you can see it it'll it'll just say if you just type up jaguar right it'll show up like instantly so i'm sitting here watching this video and she's tripping of course so the first thing i'm thinking okay she's probably having a breakdown or something like that because we all have breakdowns she starts yelling screaming cussing next thing you see her do she starts hitting her husband her husband starts swinging at her Next thing you see him do, he's swinging at a child. Why are you hitting the kid? But we'll get to that. Swinging at the kid. Then he starts to get in a fight with this other alleged guy. I don't really know his name, but I guess they were supposed to be friends or something like that. So he's fighting him now. And so then the police get called. And basically, she gets sent to a mental hospital which is really sad so um a lot of people don't know she's been exposing a lot of celebrities in the industry and so what really didn't make sense to me was you know everybody's saying oh maybe she's demon possessed she's doing this she's doing that she might be on drugs or something. But when you look at the video, she looked like she's just really tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like she's really just having um, just a breakdown. So the thing that didn't make sense was right after that situation, then her husband is going on interviews and stuff like that. And I'm thinking... Shouldn't you be worried about what your wife is doing? But hey, I don't know the situation like that. All I know is from what I saw, it looked really sad. So it basically just to me just seemed like a person who had a mental breakdown and just needed somebody to help her. Now, my thing about it is they both suffer from mental health issues, which they both have made very clear. So given the fact that they both have those issues... Don't you think it would be smart not to probably give them an interview knowing that their mental state is not there? Because, you know, me suffering from some, you know, having a nervous breakdown in my life before, that's probably not the first thing you want to do is just get yourself into the public and stuff like that. You need a moment to calm down, relax, listen to music, pray a little bit, whatever you need to do. So he gets on... This interview is called Night and Day. It's also on YouTube. He has uh, Night and Day has a lot of good um, video content. He gets on Night and Day basically explaining his side of the story. But he don't tell the fact that he's fighting a kid, though. He's saying all this other stuff. She went to go to this guy's house. She didn't. He didn't know where she was and whatever. He. They've been having people follow them, which is a possibility because at the end of the day, she's been exposing people in the industry. So you really don't know who doesn't want her around. And I'm watching other videos and people are saying they automatically assume Jay-Z said some stuff, which... I don't think he would care. He's doing him. He's got his own life. So why would you even include that guy in there? But someone included him and he basically said the girl needs help, which she clearly does. So her husband's over here basically having an interview with night and day explaining his side of the story. But the thing that bothers me, he fails to talk about what he did. He's talking about she basically left him for another dude, which is probably possible it could it could be possible that she did that she's probably having an affair 
And that's what he's probably not really talking about is that that could be the possibility that she's having an affair. It's a possibility. And it would be sad if that would be true. But, you know, a lot of people do a lot of stuff. So then there's another YouTube channel. If I can remember the name of it, there was a podcast that Jaguar Wright did in the past where she was talking about like her first husband, what was going on with um, Common and all that, Jay-Z and Megan Thee Stallion, Will Smith and all that other stuff. And then now they're interviewing her husband. My thing about it is these two definitely need some help because nobody just comes out of nowhere and just starts hitting their husband unless they're like really on something you don't know if something's in her system i mean anything could happen so i'm looking at him like while she's in the hospital why are you doing interviews and then i could say the same thing about jaguar she's over there talking to tokyo tony which is one of her best friends on a live stream and they're looking at her like, okay, if you're in the hospital, how are you having a phone conversation? And you're claiming you're still working, but like it doesn't make sense to me. So they're over there talking about, she's talking about what she said in her side of the story. She's basically explaining her side. So in a nutshell, it just, to me, just didn't make sense because I'm seeing two people who clearly need their medicine who are both suffering from mental health, don't you think it's probably not wise to do an interview with them? So then I started thinking, basically, clout. Basically. So, um, then I look on YouTube, and she's exposing Beyonce again. And I'm like, at this point, you really need to stop exposing people and focus on your health, literally. Because it's not doing nothing for anybody that you're just up here exposing folk that you don't even know. Like, you know, but you haven't really seen them in a while or you probably work with them. So, of course, these commentators are just trying to get a story. So, of course, they want them to do an interview right now. But no one's thinking, okay, maybe they probably just need to sit down and go to sleep. The girl looked like she hadn't been uh, sleeping in like two or three days. So, they basically are talking to Jaguar right in the situation. And she's like, well, I'm talking from the hospital. And even Tokyo is over here talking about how y'all need to stop chasing the clout. But, and stop just giving people stories and stuff. And I'm like, they wouldn't be getting the story if you would not record yourself. If you know you're not in this situation to talk to somebody, then, then you need to make the decision in your life that you don't need to talk to anybody. Because that doesn't make any sense. You can't blame them for assuming something that you already allegedly put out there. So, you know, I just thought it was dumb. I just thought it was really stupid. It wasn't right. And they could have did the situation a little bit better. If they wanted to be a certain way, if they wanted to say something, if they wanted to get their life together, the first thing they wouldn't be doing is trying to go viral. So in the midst of his her husband basically talking to the interview person, he keeps saying, oh, y'all should see my story on my live. So at this point, I'm thinking that the fight was basically staged just so you can get more followers. And so it brings me to my next point. You got to be careful what people put out there in the open. Because some folks be saying one thing and you're thinking, oh, it's a, a situation that's really serious. There have been people that say that, you know, folks pay for... Um, uh, celebrities pay for people to put stories out on them. So I thought it was one of those situations, but clearly it didn't seem like that. It seemed like she just really had a nervous breakdown. Um, other commentators kept saying that she was possessed because she kept screaming about her son's ashes and stuff. You can clearly tell she was literally having a breakdown 
or she was on something. So that's all the more reason. If somebody is on something, maybe they don't really need to be in front of the camera. But the fact that she was going through that situation and then not even 15 hours from that interview, she goes into another interview exposing Beyonce. So I'm like, are you really in the hospital or are you just over here tripping? Because you got everybody worried talking about pray for Jaguar Wright. We over here thinking that you allegedly could be dying or passing away. What are you doing, bro? And you got folks, you know, celebrities saying random stuff like, I'm going to sing at her funeral. Like, why are y'all saying this stuff and she's just probably having a breakdown? Like, it's just unnecessary drama for no reason. If you clearly see, see somebody, first of all, fighting their husband. Second of all, they just start swinging out of nowhere. She's literally not, not there. So either that or it's an act. Because to me, I don't see how you can one minute say something and then, oh, here's what's going on. Come on, man. It doesn't work that way. But anyway, I just wanted to say that real quick because I just thought that, um, comment down below what you think. If a person has mental health issues, don't you think that it wouldn't be wise to do several interviews? Um... First, uh, if you want to see more of her content, just look her up on YouTube. But I just wanted to put, again, my two cents because I just thought there was just some behavior that was weird. So thank you for watching. I will be back with more interviews or more reviews of what I thought of other people's interviews, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I will be back with more videos probably the end of this month or probably next month because I'm going to be really busy I'm back in school so like I said in the last video thank you for all the 35 subscribers that I have thank you guys for keeping me all these years and I will be back with more so this has been another episode of SMS News Channel and I will be back with more